How long must the evidence keep stacking up before we publicly acknowledge the fact that the Great Pyramids are not 4,500 years old and were not built by dynastic Egyptians? The pyramids at Giza were built at a time when modern history states we did not have civilized human societies on planet Earth. So you logically begin to think, well, who built them then? If it was not us, who built them then? Our mind naturally turns to either other worldly visitors or it was built by a race of beings who inhabited the earth so long ago that there's very little trace of their existence. But has history really forgotten the past? Or has the distant past been watered down so dramatically through the ages that details of actual historical events are seen as mythology. Consider the Torah, the Quran, the Indian epics, and the Mahabharata, even the Dead Sea Scrolls. With these ancient documents, there are accounts of history from the before time that are so awesome and dramatic that we don't even consider this to have actually happened. We are ignorant on a massive scale and it is no longer acceptable, guys. The past is literally reaching out to us and we are still being led to believe that the today and now is the pinnacle of the Earth's long history where life has been teeming for billions of years. We think we think big when in actual fact, the bigger picture has already happened. We are but a small blip compared to everything, yet we see ourselves as the everything. If we think the pyramids are only 4,500 years old, then we are wrong and why would any other scenario be possible? You must realize that what we are told about the Giza pyramids is in fact impossible. We have very little doubt left as to what the original and true purpose is to the Giza plateau, but we still don't actually know for sure as to when they were built or by who. It really is astonishing that this is the case, you know. Something of such massive proportions exists without any real documentation or story to back up why it exists. This of course has been left to the human imagination to basically come up with the story behind it and unfortunately the history books are lying and there has to be a major effort to reconsider the truth behind the most elaborate ancient construction ever built on our planet. In our opinion, the ability of flight would have to have had been present in the construction here to judge its perfect alignment with the magnetic poles and other alignments that are far too precise to have been a fluke. The effort involved would have been off the charts and they got it correct at the first attempt. Come on now. Maybe tens of thousands of years ago, pyramid structures were not only done on the Earth, there is evidence they are on Mars and even the Moon. Did you guys know that the Hubble Space Telescope was turned toward the Moon to get super detailed images of the Moon? It captured something totally unexpected. Check this out, guys. You have to ask yourself the question that if this is real, how the hell did it get there? Who or what put it there? This pyramid on the moon is huge, maybe even taller than the Great Pyramid, but we suspect it will not be publicly acknowledged in our lifetime. If there was an ancient super space going civilization on the earth tens of thousands of years ago, then we suspect that the structures on the moon could have been a stopover outpost. If this is the case, then perhaps they escaped the earth before a cataclysm event that would have destroyed them but they left enough information that would have lasted through the ages to warn us of this cataclysm that happens at regular intervals and they also left us a star chart as to where they were going. Maybe the pyramid on the moon has more answers and is placed off planet for the purpose of us becoming intelligent enough on the earth first to then eventually go to the neighboring moons and planets where there will be blueprints of some sort to build an intergalactic spaceship before the reset begins. Why not leave this information on the Earth? Silly question, right? These are just some of the thoughts we wanted to share with you guys, and we would love to hear what you think of this. Is this really just fantastical thinking? 
let us know below. Thank you for watching.